Hey y'all, I'm gonna try to get through this without sneezing, <laughs> but I've got a little uh, Trader Joe's haul for you because I was in the area. Um, since I already got a lot of produce, I just thought it would be a good time to um, keep stocking up on some stuff I'll need to have around for um, for dressings and stuff and for smoothies after the fast. <clears throat> so I did get some more fennel and some more cucumber for juices. Um, this is the only cooked food I really plan to have around. I also have some dried beans and lentils that I might uh, throw into some salads at some point as well if I feel like I need something more substantial. But these are really nice because they're shelf stable. And when spaghetti squash is, or any kind of squash really, is cooked, it's basically mucus free. So it's a really good um, cooked food option if you're struggling to be just totally raw after a juice fast or like wherever you are in your journey this is a really good option and um spaghetti squashes are easy to cook whole as well but this is really easy it, it cooks just like regular pasta you just like boil it in water so i like having these around um i have like a whole collection here going and i got some pasta sauces back there too <laughs> so um just thought i'd get some more because trader joe's also like discontinues stuff often <laughs> so um it's good to pick stuff up when you see it <laughs> and i've actually never had this before but um i was reading the ingredients the other day and um they're not that bad i don't know what this olive oil is like it might not be um totally olive oil like there are a lot of uh mixes with like lower quality oils these days but because it doesn't say just straight up canola oil and it doesn't have, it just has like basically dried herbs and it doesn't even have like any like preservatives in it, which I thought was interesting, um, except for the salt there. So I don't know. I just thought this would be a good option. Um, it's pretty low in sodium, I think, for a serving. I don't really know. I probably won't even use like, I'll probably use a little bit, but anyway, it's still oil. So I'm not, I didn't get like a whole bottle of oil, but I decided to get this in case I just really, really can't be bothered <laughs> to make a dressing. This will go good on a salad. And then I also got some uh, coconut aminos. So this is just um, coconut sap, water, and sea salt. So this is a better option if you're trying to like um, do like a lower sodium type situation. It's still like a little bit high in sodium, but um yeah, I might also get some low sodium tamari at some point, but this is good to have around for dressings. And um, this is as well. This is the only oil I'm going to have around because <laughs> this just adds so much flavor. You really don't need that much. I just thought this would be good for quick dressings and just when I feel like an Asian-y type situation. Um, then I got some sun-dried tomatoes, also amazing for raw recipes or um, salad dressings. This has like a lot of umami and it also has like a little bit of a salty flavor. So I'm really curious to see if I can like detect it now that I've been on this juice fast for so long. I really wanted to see if my salt tolerance went down. So this is going to be really interesting. So I'm going to try to get into this stuff before I get into stuff that actually has salt and um, just try to use celery and celery juice instead of salt if I can. And then I got some chia seeds. These are like really affordable there and I'm almost out of my last batch. This used to last me a really long time. I think because I'm going to be focusing on this more, I might be going through this faster. So I wanted to make sure I got it at Trader Joe's. It also says sustainably grown, which is interesting. You can't always trust the front of a package, but anyway, it's a good price and um, yeah, they're good. So I also got some uh, shelled hemp seeds and these are amazing for dressings. You can make like a creamy dressing without having to add um, something that's like really high in omega-6s. This has like a really good balance of omega-3s to omega-6s. It actually says it on the front here. This is already a really good ratio. So this is good um, for dressings. And then I got some more frozen fruit for smoothies. I got some pineapple. I love this organic berry mix. They don't always have it, so I picked up two. It has strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries. I like to make smoothies with like um, bananas and sometimes maybe like a like a plant milk and it just makes like a really decadent smoothie. It's really good. And I got some more of my favorite wild blueberries and I also got some more organic raspberries. And I think that's actually it. So there might be um, another Trader Joe's haul like this um, soon where I'm gonna be stocking up on more things for dressings, but I also might be going to Whole Foods for that. So that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.